But one other thing I did want to mention was that of the energy saver. There it is there. The energy saver function on your air conditioner is basically a crock of shit and you don't want to use it. What the energy saver does is on most air conditioners, and this one mostly included, when the compressor shuts off, the fan shuts off as well. Now, I've done tests not on this one because it's 240 volts, but I've done tests on other air conditioners and I found that the fan is using under 100 watts. And as an aside, while we're at it, don't even bother with a medium or a low cool setting on your air conditioner unless you are looking for quieter operation. When you set it to a lower fan speed, you may go from, let's say, 90 watts down to 70 watts on medium and maybe 50 watts on low. But let's say you just go down to medium. Now you have less airflow going over that. And as such, the pressures in the refrigeration system are going to build up. And when those pressures go and build up, the compressor has to work harder and it's gonna end up pulling more current and most likely will surpass the 20 watts you saved going to medium to begin with. Low also follows suit. You may save 40 watts on the fan, but now you have even less airflow and chances are very good that when you uh, let it run like that, the less airflow is gonna lead to increased pressure in the system. And that will also make the compressor work harder, driving that wattage right back up. So you're not saving any electricity that way. So what happens with the energy waster function, and that's what I'm going to call it, is the energy waster, is it sort of goes along the same lines. It cools the room down, this is set to 68, so it'll go down to 68, it'll cool down, and then it'll shut the compressor off because it's done cooling, and it'll shut the fan off. Well, at that point, the thermistor or temperature probe or whatever yours happens to use, this one uses a thermistor right there, will start getting warmer. Now, when it normally sits where it's supposed to, on the evaporator coil, you have air flowing over that as the fan is on. That's cool air in the room, or 68 degree air if it did a good job cooling the room down. And that means that it'll continue flowing that cool air over there, and it'll keep doing that for quite some time to help prevent the compressor from coming back on. So when you have it on the energy waster function, it then shuts the fan off. Now you don't have that airflow anymore. And the evaporator, which is right behind the temperature sensor, is going to start getting warm because the compressor is not running. Plus you don't have airflow over it, so it's gonna sit there in a stagnant air that's going to get warmer and warmer more quickly than air flowing over it. And then it's gonna go ahead and turn back on. When it turns back on, chances are it just ran a short time previous. And as such, the uh, system is going to quote unquote charge up very quickly and the evaporator is going to get nice and cold. You'll have nice cold airflow going over it again and it's going to say, oh, okay, we're 68, shut down and it'll shut the compressor and it'll shut the fan and the cycle will repeat. Now, fans and air conditioners don't use that much electricity. They are really the same as any other fan, like maybe a box fan or something like that, uh, you know, with a similar size motor. Uh, they're really not pulling a lot of wattage. Uh, most people know this, running a fan is a lot cheaper on electricity than running an air conditioner. Plus, when you have the fan in the air conditioner running, it's helping to circulate that air around the room to help it feel cooler than it actually is. So you get more benefits by not using the energy waster function. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons. 
Thank you for watching and have a good day.